Okay, let's talk about spools that are too big for your Bamboo Labs AMS. So you got your shiny new uh, P1P or X1C, you've got an AMS on there, and AMS is cranky about which spools it'll take. If you have cardboard spools, they'll need rings on them. Some spools will fit fine. Some are a little too large. Uh, there's a printable mod for the bottom of the AMS that lets you load large, uh, larger spools. But some spools are just obnoxiously large. Uh, this KVP um, spool here, it is almost 74 millimeters wide. It's really wide and it is too tall. The, um, the, the spool actually doesn't let the lid close. And I also found that it actually will uh, try to uh, unload too fast. So it'll spin this, uh, this uh, filament spool too fast when, uh, when the spool is really full. It'll, it'll try to spin it too fast and it'll pull on the filament too hard and cause errors. So anyway, um, I need to get this filament off of these few remaining spools that I have and put them onto uh, spools that do work. Uh, my AMS came with four Bamboo Labs uh, refill spools. So uh, that's nice that they included them. I, I think that they believed that this was going to be a problem. So um, these spools uh, are, these are intended to take the Bamboo Labs, um, I don't know what you call them, but the refills. So you put the refills in here and you twist it together, you're good to go. It's good if you're going to rewind. There's no place to connect the filament to the bottom. There is, I don't know if you can see it, there's a small tab right there. And I believe that their refill probably hooks into that tab. Uh, so, what I do for uh, using these to transfer is I take a pair of flush cutters, I cut off that tab, I don't need it, and I use a drill and make a small hole here. And that gives you a place to put the filament in. That's where your filament starts. And then you wrap your filament up onto the spool. Sorry if this sounds complex, it's really not too bad. But uh, anyway, you need to have a spool that you know will work and empty uh, with a hole in the middle where you can start your filament. And then you will need this. So this is, um, this is uh, something I got off printables. I will um, link it uh, in the YouTube description. Uh, so it uh, obviously will wind your spool. Uh, but the thing that uh, you, the thing that you really need, if you want to transfer a full spool, you want to transfer like a kilogram or almost a full kilogram onto the spool. If you don't wrap the spool evenly, left to right, right to left, as you wind the spool, if you don't do that perfectly, you'll never get the full kilogram on here. Um, and you'll have problems where the filament's lumped up on one side. Uh, you won't be able to get it all in there. And uh, maybe even if you do get it all in there, uh, you'll you'll build up one side and the filament will drop to the other side and it'll get, um, you'll have weird jams on your uh, spool. So be careful when you're winding up a new spool. Uh, I have in the past used a drill spool adapter and just YOLO'd it, just rolled it up on, on uh, a spool that was attached to a drill. Maybe not the best thing in the world. Uh, so you have this contraption. So uh, a drill adapter or a handle, a handle would go here, drill adapter goes here. It runs all of these gears, turns the spool obviously, but it runs all of these gears and it runs this really cool mechanism down here. Uh, it converts um, rotary motion into a linear back and forth motion. So as these move, the uh, tray will move back and forth and wind the filament just perfectly back and forth on the spool. Uh, I wound this a little earlier today I was able to wind this up in about three minutes running super fast and look how evenly left to right that is that this is not a full kilogram but this is a one kilogram with the spool so this is probably 850 grams of actual filament so almost a full spool and look how evenly it's stacked left to right it's not beautiful but it probably looks as good as the original kvp does the stacking is not real good on kvp typically but yeah, so it uh, does a really, really great job and you'll get as much filament as you need to on that spool. So I'm gonna, um, 
I'm going to spool, spool up uh, this little bit of a remainder of gold that I have here. Uh, again, this, this spool won't fit in the AMS, so I'm gonna transfer it over here. I'm gonna do that um, real time. Uh, it should just take just a minute. So uh, I'll grab this right here. And we will put that through the PTFE down here. Get that through. And then we'll come around here and find the end of it. Bring it over. And let's see here. So my hole is on this. So the hole I have is on this side. So I need to start, I need to start this on that side. So I'm going to uh, let's see if I can let's see if I can bring it over. Uh, And of course, I've made it unhappy somehow, just not my intent. Here we go. Alright. So we'll bring this over. tension this up okay now I'll show you the setup real quick so uh, this is uh, you need to keep a certain amount of distance between what you're spooling off of and what you're winding the reason is you don't want forces on this as it goes back and forth so uh, the creator of this says it needs to be about six inches or so 150 uh, millimeters so let's do some winding Okay. And just noise warning, you already heard it, but it's kind of loud. Here's the thing, this is all printed, right? Even the axles are printed. So it's gonna be a little wobbly, a little noisy. It's just the way it is, right? But we'll see, here we go. Look at those stacks, those are growing on real nice. Ideally, you want to catch that before the end goes through. I'm not really good at it, so eh. anyway, let's see if we can find the end so we don't cross it up. So here's the end. That looks that looks good. Okay, so we'll tie this off. There we go. And there is a partially wound spool. Again, the whole thing, if you ran the whole spool, it would take uh, a little over three minutes. You know, again, this thing is kind of, kind of loud, kind of you know, plasticky, probably won't last forever, but it was a nice little one day print and maybe an hour or two putting it together and tuning it up. Works good. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy.